Hello, I'm Jovan Johnson. Attorney at law Isaac Buchanan has confirmed that an expedited date has been set and his client, Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer, will have his case heard by the Privy Council in February, two months earlier than initially indicated. Mr. Buchanan said the application was made following Mr. Palmer's medical health scare when placed in solitary confinement earlier this year. Residents of Paul Mountain and Top Mountain in St. Catherine blocked several miles of roadway on Wednesday as they protested exorbitant fare increases imposed by taxi operators who serve the communities. The fare to Spanish Town and back for students has ballooned from $150 to $250, while adults now bear the burden of paying $750 for the round trip, a significant increase from the previous $500 round trip fare. The National Works Agency has mobilized teams to respond to instances of flooding, siltation and minor landslides in Portland, St. Andrew and St. Thomas as heavy rains continue to impact these parishes. The National Commercial Bank Jamaica Limited NCB is alerting the public about a QR code scam targeting users of its automated banking machines, ABMs. In a statement today, NCB stated that fraudsters have been mounting posters inside its ABMs with a QR code claiming that customers can win over $1 million in cash and prizes by clicking on the link. In sports, Glenn Maxwell hit the fastest men's cricket World Cup century in Fortables as Australia inflicted a record tournament defeat on the Netherlands in Delhi. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $155.74, the British pound sterling for $189.82, and the Canadian dollar for $114.28. In your weather forecast, on Thursday, expect showers and thunderstorms across most parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. Remember to follow us on X, formerly Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and like, comment, and share on YouTube. I'm Jovan Johnson.